Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pineco Farm here in Farming Simulator 19 with me, C. Watting. We're here on our field number two, our oat field, which the crop is growing, but so are the weeds. So, I've got to basically try and weed this field. Now, what I don't know is... When I drive into this field in a minute with my um, tractor, which is 396 horsepower, which isn't quite enough to pull that, so I'm going to have to use the big boy. Um, am I going to do crop destruction? Hopefully not. We'll find out. That could be the one slight drawback to my plan of weeding. Is that... Um, depending when the weeds start to grow, you might end up with a significant amount of crop destruction. Because I haven't got any tractors with skinny wheels. Skinny wheels that don't do crop destruction. Uh, that are going to be powerful enough. Pull this. I'm put my lights on for a minute because it's still a little bit dark here this morning. Um, it's also going to be very hard to see where I've been on this field. I'm doing crop destruction. That's a bit of a problem then. And also, you can only remove the weeds in the first growth stage. with the mechanical weeder. Blow it. Okay. <laughs> you can see why I don't use mechanical weeders very often in Farm Simulator, because they're not very useful. Um, so unfortunately, kill the weeds on that field, I'm going to have to herbicide. I'm going to have to spray. Uh, which means emptying all the pallets out of my sprayer. See, normally when I normally I don't play with weeds on, uh, but I really, really wanted to use that weeding function of the um, the weeding function of the um, a fertilizer function, should I say, of the weeder? I'm getting the words right in a minute. This is just going to end up a mess, isn't it? Think. Um, uh, now, I've not been able to find the fix yet for the um, bulk buy mod. Oh, 
Oh, is this like, this could be like a all-in-one store then. Where I could get liquid fertiliser, herbicide, water, is it? Is, but I think I have to fill it first. Which means I need to come down here. So yeah, that's a bad start to the new day on the farm, isn't it? I've caused a load of crop destruction to my oats, which are a very important crop. But I don't really want to be destroying. But uh, the weeds didn't grow at the right time then, did they? Let's let's face facts. The weeds had grown at the proper time when the oats were in the first growth stage. I could have weeded it. As it is, the weeds have appeared when we're in the second growth stage. So, less useful. So yeah, unfortunately then, we have crop destruction on the field. Mm. I probably should have reversed a lot sooner, instead of just driving all the way down the field. Once I realised it wasn't actually weeding, I should have just reversed back out. But that's a bit of an issue then, because how am I going to get a big tractor with skinny, narrow wheels that doesn't do crop destruction? Because I don't think there are many in the base game, is there? With tractors with skinny, crop-friendly wheels? Mm. I don't know about the, um, uh, the case. The case by um, Carl Farms. With the row crop tyres. I don't know whether they are crop friendly. well getting rid of all the weeds Just a little bit. That's all right. Okay, not really overlapping much this time. We are still taking care of weeds. How are we doing on the contract from today? Field six spraying. 
So there is a spraying contract out there. Couple of fertilizing gigs. Bailing of field 10. We like bailing. Head it, bail it, take the bales to Freedom Mill. So yeah, we could do the bailing contract again. Which would be great, because then again we get to do the um we get to get the excess bales, don't we? For the horses. It would also give me a chance to test a piece of a kit, piece of equipment that I've installed. I think my iPad's about to beep at me in a minute. I think Siri kicked in there. Don't know why. <laughs> does that randomly at times. Even though I never ever use Siri for anything, sometimes my tablet thinks I've spoken to it and it comes up and... Weird. Weird system. So yeah, if we went down the road of doing that bailing contract, I would probably still have to lease the equipment because we don't have a baler um, of our own. How much would it cost? To get the, the tedder, the tedder stroke wind rower all in one. Because um, that's the important bit. If I can cut the um, process down, something to think about hmm I've spent quite a bit of money though obviously in the last day with um buying the horses buying the truck for the bales buying bales buying oat um, buying herbicide now of which I've used very little This um
have a figure out because I think some of these things are not working properly. That most definitely is working properly. Protection zone could be a little bit better. On my um, my truck quickly. didn't seem to get down at all. <laughs> okay, so I can actually fill this with water. Fantastic. Now the question is... Will I be able to fill my pallets or have I got to move these? up with herbicide I should then be able to empty the herbicide into the storage tanks so it's a bit of a shame that it wouldn't take it from the IBC straight away but I guess that's the very nature unfortunately of this thing right so yeah uh, is it on the tedders yeah the Swadro multifunction is 74 grand and windrow in one action and it's 19 meters wide which is obviously very useful let's load all these up 
and then we'll empty it into the into the tank and then at least we'll be able to refill the um, sprayer from there in the future should we need herbicide it's just a shame you can't empty it back into the Not the greatest of turning circles, this truck. There we go, that's the herbicide in there. fill it obviously from the pipe sticking out the front so very useful very very useful how are the horses doing anyway they're okay for food the one pen which is at 34,000 Horses are fine. So let's go and think to ourselves, what are we going to do with the rest of our day? How are we going to busy ourselves today? Like I say, there is the, the option of doing a bailing contract. If I bought the tedder. Five grand to fertilize field one. Hmm. Seems as we've got the um, sprayer over it. Surprisingly, it's still not refilled, full, refilled itself yet. It was waiting for me to hop in. Potatoes. Big potato harvesting. Coming up on this field at some point. I wonder what equipment they're going to let us borrow for that. something meaty isn't it mighty big there's going to be a load of potatoes on this field that is going to be one serious harvest folks that is going to be one seriously seriously massive harvest try and get your heads round Hand it over to the worker. 
let him carry on. He'll do nice straight lines for me. So what I imagine then, now, with that building that takes all the liquid fertiliser and water and everything, storage, I would imagine that the farm silo thing will take dry fertiliser and lime. If I took the pallets over there, I bet it will take those. Do we have any other fertilising contracts? One, field 17. Where is field 17? Oh, all the way up the top there. Hmm. If it had been one of these fields down here somewhere, I could have gone and done that with the, um, with the spreader and used up the last little bit of um, fertiliser I've got in it. Still got field four cultivating for 10 grand. But that is, baling is a seriously, um, seriously good offer of a contract. The 39 grand, plus obviously then the extra bales that we get anyway. Um, and they're tempted to do it. They're tempted to do it. The trouble is, I'd, like I say, I need to lease the equipment. That's the only problem. I need to lease it because I don't own a baler. I, even if I go and buy the um, that tedder wind rower. I don't have a baler. Um, Steve, he gives us the round one. But I wouldn't want a round one, would I? That's a round baler too. Um, pretty much just going to be an LSB twelve ninety, then, isn't it? It's just going to be one of them. We could pick one up for sixty five grand used. Be. We go down that road then. The alternative is the class. That's a lot more expensive. That's ninety seven grand. Physically, it doesn't do anything any different in terms of bale size or capacity, so might as well go with the smaller one. If I was to buy one, so I could buy the baler. I could then buy the tedder wind rower. I've already got the mower, um, and we've obviously got the truck now can transport 28 bales at a time. Might do that, might look at doing that contract. I'll accept it, is what I'll do. And then um, it'll be there probably for the next episode actually we'll finish this fertilizing today and we'll get the fertilizer spreader took back and then um 
the next video we can sort out all the equipment that we're going to need to do that baling contract and we'll do the baling contract again and then we'll get a load of hay bales again hopefully I'm surprised there isn't a more spraying contracts though, because field 20 needs to be sprayed. Um, which is obviously the, the more pressing one. Um, was it field 6 that they, what, they, there was a spraying contract for herbicide? Yeah, field 6 sprayed. <laughs> Um, I'd have been more inclined to have sprayed field 20. 20 would have paid me a lot more. Twenty would have paid me a lot more money. that one been available but yeah how are we going to solve that issue with the tractor because uh, I don't think we have any large tractors that have skinny wheel options do we I don't know whether these count as narrows, whether these are field care. Or whether these ones are... Because I'm thinking if they don't do crop destruction, it might be worth getting one of them. Goes up to five twelve, which is a little bit. Mm. I don't know how that compares with our. Five seventeen. So power wise, it would be it would be about the same. It would be about the same. It's just whether or not. It's 
just a case of whether or not those tyres do crop destruction. I could happily switch the fence for a big tractor with crop friendly tyres, because we could do with one, because the little fence doesn't have crop friendly tyres. But before I go spending all that money, I would need to know for definite, 100%. Um, that this thing... Um, that it would work. Right. We have finished that contract, so let's get the money for it. And like I say, when we come back in the next episode, we will be doing that bailing contract then, folks. So I'm going to get myself a tether windrower. I'm going to get get myself a baler in the next episode. And then we're going to um, take our mower. One of these tractors. That one will probably... this The big boy will probably pull the... Um, uh, the big boy will probably pull the um, a wind rower for me and then the little tractor can pull the baler and then we've got the truck we know we've got the truck capable of uh, doing the um, um, transporting the bales because we bought that to do the horses last time. So yeah, all these boys will uh, be all hot on the move next episode then, folks. So thank you for watching today's episode, everybody. Really hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye for now.